MAPPA has officially canceled Ice Adolescence. They just posted this notice. Yuri on Ice, the movie Ice Adolescence cancellation notice. Thank you very much for always supporting Yuri on Ice. Regarding the postponed release of Yuri on Ice, the movie Ice Adolescence, we have come to the decision to unfortunately cancel its production. We deeply apologize for not being able to meet the expectations of all those who have been waiting and continued to support us throughout these years. Seven years. The production committee and staff have been in constant discussions to create and deliver the movie, but due to various circumstances, we have had to make the difficult decision to stop the production. We sincerely apologize to everyone who has been anticipating its release, and thank you once again for your continued support. MAPPA. I honestly, right now, I'm just mad. I know I'm going to curl up in a ball and be sad about it later, but I just can't believe how much they fumbled this. Firstly, I feel most bad for the fans, such as myself and my girlfriend, and all the incredible friends I've made through this community. The diehard fans who have literally actually held out hope for this long. But I also feel really bad for Kubo and Yamamoto, the creator and director, because they definitely didn't want this. Clearly, there was more to the story that they wanted to tell, and production bullshit got in the way, let on a bunch of fans, and ended in this result. I just hope that their reputation is not tarnished even though people in the community might be upset by this, I just know that this is not what they would have wanted. They created a beautiful anime together, and I just hope that MAPPA's mistakes are not associated with them as artists. I don't know if there is a leading theory on why exactly this happened, what discussions led to this conclusion, other than MAPPA taking on extremely successful titles like Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen and shelving Yuri on Ice out of a priority. We've already heard about the working conditions at MAPPA and it doesn't seem like they are doing very good, but are they making a ton of money? Yes. It just really sucks to be treated this way. In a fucked up kind of way, it's nice to have closure the suspense is over, but kind of in the way how you're waiting for an old pet to die. <laughs> and childishly, you still hope for a miracle. So the suspense is over, which can feel relieving, but it still sucks. Yuri on Ice literally changed my life. I remember being in university and every release day, I would skim through the episodes under my desk, hoping there would be romance between Victor and Yuri because there had never been a mainstream gay romance in a sports anime before. I remember being in a Staples parking lot when the final episode released and watching it in my car and feeling so many emotions knowing that Victor and Yuri ended up together and all was well. And I also remember the moment that Ice Adolescence was dropped. That is actually what skyrocketed and began my YouTube career. That was my first video that ever went viral on this channel, was reacting to the trailer and then predicting things that I thought would happen in the movie. Could you imagine if at the end, the whole reason for this flashback started because of something Victor was telling at their wedding? I would jump off a bridge in happiness if that happened. Because we know Victor ends up happy at the end of Yuri on Ice, I feel like they might make Ice Adolescence super and sad. What's up guys, it's Victor today, and I want to talk about the Ice Adolescence expectations. So far, all we've seen in the two little teaser trailers we've got have been Victor, and Victor by himself. I really hope Yuri is in this. I mean, as a kid, I would love to see Yuri's parallel skating life alongside Victor's with him like three or four years younger, but the Victory shipper in me needs a shot of the two of them together, where it's like at the end and they're on the couch together and they're holding hands and they're reminiscing this whole time and it just confirms all the theories that like they're living together in St. Petersburg. I met my girlfriend Stitch of five years at SacraCon dressed as Victor and I saw her dressed as Yuri and called out to her because I thought she looked so good and that was April 19th 2019 exactly five years ago. That's a little spooky. <laughs> Earlier this year I made a video joking about how we needed to manifest Ice Adolescence and it seemed like it worked. We manifested it Demise. <laughs> Ice adolescence. It's coming. 2024, I'm predicting it. We're manifesting it. Positive vibes only. It's gonna come out. It has to, right? With the movie being canceled, that still does not remove how amazing the series it was and how amazing the community and fans still are. Of course, the fandom is a lot smaller than it was in its heyday, but this year at SacraCon, Stitch and I went as Stammy, Victor, and Yuri. We attended a Yuri on Ice meetup with a ton of other fans just expressing their love 
for the series. We were stopped countless times where people wanted photos and the nostalgia in their voices about how much they loved Yuri on Ice and then the bitterness in their tone when they talked about, oh, if we'll ever get ice adolescence. Now we have a new thing to complain about. I'm still just upset MAPPA fumbled this. MAPPA's animation is gorgeous. They have given us very hot men, but man, have they disappointed me. Strangely, I still have hope in my heart that somehow maybe there will be a season two. Maybe some sort of short film could be released. There have to be scenes from this film that we haven't seen before. Maybe someday those could get released just to like a music video, like an AMV of the discarded Yuri on Ice cuts. Someone has that footage. Maybe it could be leaked. <laughs> I'll stay delusional that there might be more to come to fight off the depression. If you want to leave a comment down below about how Yuri on Ice affected your life or how this news is making you feel, please feel free. Let's create a safe space down below to let your emotions out because, oh boy, it's starting to hit me a little bit more now. <laughs> If there is any more news regarding Yuri on Ice, I will be sure to post it. So click subscribe if this is something that you're interested in. And usually my channel is never full of depressing news. It's usually very, very exciting, happy news. This is just nuts. And I had to make a little video letting out some of my thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Much happier, I'm sure. <laughs>